Well, what's happening, guys? It is Sunday, Father's Day. So, happy Father's Day to all of those dads out there. It is June 19th. Um, got something really cool to show you. And then I have something really cool to show you. And I got a couple cool things to show you. Then I've got a pressure washer to work on. <laughs> uh, when a few days elapse and a lot has been um, going on, uh, this weekend was our, it started on Thursday actually, was our King Midget um, chapter meet, our first uh, annual chapter meet. Now the, chap the chapter meet isn't going to be in Muncie again next year. It'll be nearby, but it's uh, the central chapter meet. And um, I was toting around a mess of tools. We only had three breakdowns. We had a total of 27 cars. It was a very nice turnout. I had 27 cars attend. Mine was not one of them. It's still in Ohio getting worked on. But um, it all went really, really well. Went swimmingly. Our schedule, we were able to maintain our schedule. Uh, we only had one wrench thrown into the works. And we only lost four cars at one point. And they knew where they were going. We just weren't aware that they were going to run off on their own. Which, it was free time anyway. So we just like try to keep track of the cars. Um, you see right here, I'm charging the battery up charging this battery up and this one just came off the charger so it's fully charged that one's almost done when it is uh, it's time to put new batteries and this is the battery pack for my electric hoist uh, I think I mentioned in one video where it beeps it's just telling you you know hey dude your batteries are going bad so we're gonna get that um, squared away so what neat stuff do I have to show you? Uh, let's see. We'll start at the bottom and work our way up. How about that? Um, you guys notice there are only two tractors in the shop. Yes, Sean came and got his tractors. I did not pop the camera on, out of respect. Uh, didn't pop it on. And um, he was very thrilled with everything that was done he totally understood and respected the time uh, that it took uh, just because of my health my hands if you guys look at them now they're absolutely wrecked right hand and left hand um i was on you can see where it turns white when i bend it yeah that's the yeah that sucks anyway uh, you guys are looking at a Briggs 16 horse. This was a spare that Sean had that was on one tractor, then it went to another, and it wound up just laying around, so it came to me. And then one of my chrome stacks came back to me. So this was one that uh, went to Sean, and it was too loud for him, so he switched it out, and that was the one on the 7116. So I got that back, and I can put that back on one of the tractors. Um, I will do as I did with the old landlord and stuff a muffler in there to quiet it down. Um, this engine's untested, doesn't have a starter on its electric ring gear with a stator. Um, later model, let's see what year we got here. 1988. So that's a pretty new motor, and I see a lot of junk here. So we'll pull the blower housing off and we'll do a cold start on that one see how it does i uh, finally did pull this one up onto the test stand and it runs flawlessly i expected no less i have one more right over there to test run and that one was actually on a uh, sovereign class that Ron Biggie Rat took off. Uh, and what's going on with this one is 
Briggs went to these plastic carburetors to stave off the ethanol damage that was being caused, but they didn't, uh, the, the orifice is way, way, way too small. So it only takes not using it for five months and they clog up. It's a quick enough, easy enough fix, but that's why this is here. Um, okay, that was cool thing number one was got another 16 horse in the mix. And cool thing number two, uh, we'll come over here and this will be something that we'll pull up and do on camera. I got me a hovercraft. That is a hovering Flymo contractor solo with a little two cycle engine. And it's really ingeniously made. Let's turn it around a little bit. This hose right here just goes on the end of that. And this is your air filter up here. That's your air filter. You can see that the handle's standing upright, upright right now. Um, that's because it, that's a kickstand. That's for storing it so that its footprint is really small. You step on this little spring-loaded deal here, and then the handle moves down. That flap comes back up, and then it allows the handle to be pushed up on it. So that you can just glide this through your yard. Isn't that neat? Then you just step on it again a little bit. And let it come up. And it locks in place. The engine is free. It's a two cycle. I think I already mentioned that. Uh, there is, I don't know how much, but there is some really, 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 really old gunk in the bottom of that uh gas can or fuel make sure I get all the junk off that you see it it too bad this isn't smell vision it, it it's got an odor <laughs> it's not a good odor one of those that makes your nose crinkle just instinctively but um so we've got this to check out. <coughs> then the other thing to show you, uh, if you guys give me half a second, I'll get set up and show you um, what I think is the coolest thing. So hang on. All right, you guys may or may not know uh, or remember or have seen the video that I did on hardcore hammers. <clears throat> I don't have the pry bar with me right now, but these are just over the top hammers, completely made in the USA, locally sourced ash, uh, made over in Illinois, uh, I think it's an 18,000 foot uh, facility, um, but um, one of the co-owners had contacted me and um, had some questions and as a thanks and these guys were at blade show this year too by the way um but had some questions for me so i answered the questions and his reward for me answering a bunch of his questions was to send me a little goodie box that had the tire thumper the hatchet and the hammer um in them as well as a pry bar just and I was just gobsmacked. I was like, "Oh, you are so awesome!" Um, well, he contacted me again, and we need to fast forward probably what seven, possibly eight years since these were sent to me. And I, they're to me, they're just absolutely gorgeous, and I hate to use them, <laughs> but I'm fine with that because I am a hammer and hatchet collector, and. Uh, I use my ugly ones, and I use my ugly ones to preserve the pretty ones. You see that red-handled right there? That's the one I use to split my kindling and whatnot um, in the winter time, and it sits there. And then over there, I've got a uh, double bit 
Um, but anyway, so he contacted me again, and we exchanged emails for uh, about a week, a little over a week. And he said, shoot me your address. I'm going to send you out a couple goodies for all the help that you've given me. And I thought, ah, that's freaking awesome. All right, I can do that. Wait till you see what he sent. Are you ready? Oh, they're just incredible. Well, here's the first part. Orange handles. Yeah. And just look at that hickory. You can see the handles are quite a bit longer than there. These are 24-inch uh, or 23-inch handles. Um, and one, they both have uh, axe heads on them. And I'll pop one of these off. They're identical axe heads. But this one has a splitting wedge on the other side. See there? Hardcore hammers made in the USA. Just things of beauty. And they're all uh, made now with the Don't Tread on Me and surrounded by 13 stars. Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I think I will end up using this one. And the main reason is because it's got a pick roll in the end of it. So I'll pop the leather sheath off. And this leather is just, you know, it's top notch. Um, Give me just a second. There we go. And you can see that edge. And you want to talk about sharp? It's sharp. And so is that point. I have not uh, whacked either side into anything yet. But this is one that will get uh, used. So I'm going to get a protective sleeve to go here. I'll order that uh, from the website. And it just look that gorgeous wood. Ugh. Love it, love it, love it. And the orange handles. Those beautiful orange handles. Just neat. So, to me, of the cool things, I mean, there was one, there was the other. This tops it. I, th these are just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so, you guys head over to hardcorehammers.com and check them out yourself. They have. <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me I've been speaking loudly all weekend uh, I'm trying to keep the group informed of everything that was going on so my voice is a little scratchy today um, anyway uh, go to his website each of the axes comes with the sheet uh, just like the hatchets <clears throat> but a bunch of different types and styles uh, for um, whatever type of work you're needing it for. And these two are both in the TR family. And TR, quite simply, stands for Teddy Roosevelt, the one and only. So if you don't do anything else, go over there and click on any of the TR or click on all of the TR um, series and you can read uh, some history on Teddy Roosevelt himself and people that he appointed to um, preserve nature. It's just really, really a neat read. And plus, these are just absolutely gorgeous. And they have a lifetime guarantee. Um, they're, they're just uh, they're wonderful. Absolutely love them. And I'm humbled. So, Steve, thank you so very, very, very much for your second round of generosity. Um, I know that, you know, you the information I give you, you feel that it's worth it, and I definitely appreciate that. I'm glad that you think that it's worth it. Um, but uh, for anybody out there who's looking for a very high-end, very tough, very durable, very functional piece of art that's just my my personal opinion these are just artfully designed um head on over there you know it may be 
there may be one item there that you just say, yep, I, I would definitely use that. And it's definitely going to be worth picking up. Uh, you know, I put these up there with the Swiss made and the Grand Force Brooks and, and, and all those. I put these right up there with them. Um, and some of them can go for crazy, crazy money. So anyway, there we go. That's it. Um, yeah, I pretty much promise you guys that you will see me on the next one. Hope everybody has a great Father's Day. And I'll see you when I see you.